Hello everyone. Welcome to the remake of our very first PSD to CSS Online video tutorial. I'm Sean and uh, we're going to show you today how you put text in a page that you make with uh, PSD to CSS Online. It also serves as really just the very basic use uh, for PSD to CSS Online. Um, what it does is, uh, what PSD to CSS Online does is converts your Photoshop or GIMP PSD files uh, directly into CSS uh, web pages automatically. So uh, let's get started. First, I'll show you the uh, a uh, particular web page design that I've been working on. <coughs> it's fairly straightforward. It's got a couple of buttons and a big space for some text here. Um, so uh, what we'll do first, or what we're going to do just for this demo, is to make an area for the text. And, uh, and show you how the PSD to CSS Online will uh, convert that to an actual, to actual text as opposed to just an image. So uh, what we need to do is uh, make a new layer. So here's one. Uh, where's oh, Let's not put it inside my home folder. There we go. Put that down there. So we'll make a new layer. And uh, the trick to this is that uh, PSD to CSS Online um, will read the layer names and do special things based on that. So what I'm going to do is turn this layer name to, uh, we'll just call it body, underscore text. That underscore text is the important part. That's the, See how it says underscore text, body underscore text. That's the important part. PSD to CSS Online is going to read that underscore text and make anything it finds in this layer into um, a text uh, layer. So, uh, so now that we're editing that layer, here let's zoom out on here a little bit. We will just uh, make a big space, just to find a great big space here. That's the space that we want all the text to show up in, and uh, we'll just fill it in with a color. The color doesn't matter. When PST to CSS Online sees that it wants that that you want that to be a text space, um, it doesn't draw the the color. It just puts some text in there and puts some really handy notes about how you can uh, uh, modify that, and how you can put your text in there, and how you can change the font and what's on, and whatnot. So that's pretty much that. Um, we'll save this this file out, and it's called Template One PSD. I have it uh, in this demo folder. Actually, that's not it. This is it. And uh, so, what we'll do is just go to PSD to CSS Online. We will go find that template 01 PSD and upload it. It's really that simple. You just upload your PSD files. Uh, you can log in and get a user account, but you don't have to. You can just go straight to the web page and, and upload things. Um, it does take a little, bigger files take a little while to upload and they can take a little while to convert too, but just on the order of 10 or 15 seconds. Um, so pretty soon here, uh, the website's going to answer us back and tell us that we have uh, the conversion completed. And there it is. Um, so now all you, you, all you have to do is view and uh, view your web page. So there's the page that we made. As you can see, it looks exactly like uh, the Photoshop file that we uh, made um, even has image rollovers, which is in later tutorials. But as you can see, that works fine. Here's the text area that we defined, and uh, the comment is uh, Hi, this is a spot that you gave the label body text, which is exactly what we called it. Replace this with whatever, with whatever text or HTML you want, and don't forget to edit the font and color options in CSS. It's called layer 9. So, uh, so that was pretty easy. Um, I used to ask you all to uh, file save as at that point, but uh, not all the browsers do the same thing and, and there's some problems with that, so we added this download a zip file option. So now you can download your whole thing as a zip file. Um, I'll download it and there it is. I'm going to just copy all these and paste them into my demo. There you go. So we're done with all that. Now you can see here is all the downloaded images and our indexed HTML, index HTML file that was generated for us. You can uh, look at it. We already know what it's going to look like. These still work, of course. What we're going to do is change this text into something uh, 
something a little more meaningful. The the note says that it's layer nine. We can change the uh, the text for layer nine. So what we'll do over here is, oops, we'll edit this file. You can use your favorite text editor. Um, it's called layer nine. We also called it body text. So it's very easy to find in in the source code here because there's comments about it. Um, so uh, I'm going to take take the comment out that uh, PSD CSS Online gave us. I have some uh, some other text sitting here in another file that I'm just going to copy and paste. So there, I copied and pasted that text file. I'm also going to find uh, the spot that uh, in our CSS. This is the layer name body text. And here's another comment for us. Here's some suggestions for your text area settings. Um, I'm going to change the uh, the font size to medium and the color to white uh, and save it out. So there you go. That wasn't a whole lot of editing. And now, when you reload your file, sure enough, it's uh, it's got links that roll over. It's got text that looks good. And uh, that's our web page. We made it in PSD and Photoshop. Converted it with PSD to CSS Online. Did a little manual changes for the text. And, uh, and it looks pretty good. So there you go. Thanks.